What's up, Wikimaniacs? On today's episode, we have an OP who cancels his coffee order, a husband is offended by his wife, an OP texts her husband's best friend to get a reaction, an OP has a run-in with her sister's ex-boyfriend, and OP's husband can't handle the truth. For the Patreon exclusive stories, we have an OP who dumps his girlfriend on her birthday, and an ex refuses to change their last name. If those sound interesting to you and you want day early and ad-free episodes, head on over to patreon.com slash cultivate podcast network, or you can head on over to our new YouTube channel memberships and click join to become a YouTube member. Reddit on wiki starts now. In therapy. What is up Wikimaniacs? It's another am I the asshole Friday. It's your boy Josh here. Joined with me are my two lovely co-hosts, John and Sean. What's up, boys? But I knew you I would still never don't know say how to this. sign assholes yet. I knew you would never say this, Josh. But whenever you said my two, <laughs> I was like, oh, please say my two browns. Uh, I was, <laughs> I knew, I knew it wouldn't happen. But there was a small glimmer of hope in my eye. <laughs> I want to hear it, Josh. Yeah, it let's redo the time. intro. Let's say I'm here intro. with my two browns. All right, and. All I'm saying is you guys have enough voice content that you could just AI say, make me say. <laughs> That's true, but too much work for us also. And I, I think I want to hear it from the horse's mouth. You yes. You call me a horse? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> a beautiful, majestic steed. A stallion. Wow, a stallion. A stallion. <laughs> a stallion. Love it. Love it. Hung like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> what what show am I thinking of? Yeah, I don't know if it's Tim Robinson. I have no idea. I've but there's a fucking I don't know where there's a fucking skit where they're like, "Welcome to our ranch, the only ranch where our horses have human-sized <laughs> dicks." <laughs> and they're like, "Are you?" T- I feel bad if you get my size. <laughs> are you tired of bringing your wife to a ranch and all her thinking about is how big that horse's cock is? <laughs> Well, come what over to our ranch you where watching? the horses have <laughs> some sort of skit. I forget where oh that's from. Oh my god, I have no idea what you're talking. I was hoping <laughs> you would know what I was talking about, Josh, because we both watched Tim Robinson and Jake and Amir. But I'm like, all right, well, uh, where the fuck is that from? <laughs> that sounds like more of something John would watch. To be honest, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I don't, I don't even watch that shit. Tied up the horses uh. having too big of cocks. <laughs> Well, now that we're successfully demonetized on YouTube, uh, shout, shout out our merch so we can make some money off this episode, Sean. Oh, we might as well. Dicks, 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 no, dicks, 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 dicks. All right. If this design looks fantastic to you, and it does because our amazing graphic designer at Fat Lip Janelle uh, designed it. So head over to Reddit on Wikishop.com. That's right. The only. Uh, Website I've ever memorized for this show. Because uh, <laughs> there's money involved. What's our Patreon? I wish I could tell you. Uh, <laughs> Reddit on wiki, shop.com. Get your merchandise today. Because who knows when it will be gone? And it will That's be gone. True. Yeah, Sean will just take it out whenever he wants. He's a menace with that shop. <laughs> you better yes, fucking he believe it. He's a dictator. <laughs> Oh, fuck. All right. Well, we made some money off this demonetized episode. Now we can hop into some stories. <laughs> My deepest apologies. All right. So this first one cross posted on a subreddit by lower score strawberry bunny. And the title is, am I wrong for canceling my order at this coffee shop? I think if they make your coffee wrong, like, look, if you're lactose intolerant and you, and you watch them pour whole milk into your drink, I think you could say, I'm not going to drink that. I've recently discovered I think I am lactose <laughs> intolerant. It's I'm a, very sad about yeah. it. As you age, it kind of just happens one day. I know. There's just a flip it. of a switch. Oat milk is the only thing I drink now. Yeah. Mm. I'm recently trying to shock go, my body back into liking lactose. I don't know if it's going to be successful. But I've been getting on the toilet and feeding yeah. yourself yogurt. I've been buying whole milk, <laughs> whole milk for my whole uh, at home lattes. I only do it when I'm at home, when I know I'm in the safety of a clean <laughs> toilet, if need be. True, uh, but yeah, I'm going asshole. This is one of those people that probably say I'm the customer. I'm always right, type of shit, and mm. there never are. Mm. Oh, another reason why it also could be okay because this happened to me. I've never, I didn't return the drink. But uh, I was like, uh, whenever we're traveling, I'll, I'll always try and look up like the local, like a local close by coffee place. 
uh, AKA just not the SB. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, I was like, oh, okay, this is kind of a strange sounding name, but it, we'll go there. Black Rifle Coffee. I'll give them a shout out. Oh. And then I was like, that's kind of weird, don't. but maybe it's like, you know, <laughs> like, uh, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Uh, and then we got there and, and then just the menu just looked like fucking make America great again. And I was like, oh, well, we've gone too far. I think we have to order <laughs> coffee here. But yeah, I don't know. I, I could imagine somebody walking into that place and then being like, oh, and then like walking out. Yeah. So I could see a scenario where returning your coffee is OK. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. So I was at this coffee shop and the cashier was really pretty. She also had a cool anime tattoo. I think John might be right here. <laughs> Based off the two sentences that we've read. So far. <laughs> I was going to get some coffee and a donut. And I said, quote, hey, I like your tattoo. What's your favorite character from that anime? She kept a straight face and just said, how can I help you? I then said, I really like anime too, and just wanted to okay, see what shows brother. and characters you like. All <laughs> right, just order your That's goddamn weird. coffee. Okay, look, I don't think the initial comment was weird, but as soon as she gives you that vibe, she she doesn't obviously does not want to have a conversation with you. Yeah, yeah. don't you don't have to explain yourself. Just be like, <laughs> oh right, yeah, I'll take a fucking mocha. You know what I mean? Don't yeah. fucking do that. And then maybe oh, when I she- was just wondering <laughs> because I really like anime. Don't do it, brother. Uh. She still showed no emotion and was like, sir, do you want anything? I just said, actually, I did, but you made me change my mind. Bye. <laughs> and I walked away. I didn't, okay. actually, I didn't want coffee anymore after that. I was trying to be nice and get to know her. And she was acting like that. She's working. So am I Why? wrong? She's, wor- <laughs> She's at her, her job. goddamn job. She ain't trying to. She- also, probably very busy. Always coffee shops yeah. mm-hmm. are usually pretty busy. So I got to say, she probably just did not have time. Or in fact, even if she did have time and you were the only person in line, she's doing her job. She doesn't doesn't have to fucking get to know you. Are you fucking kidding? I was just trying to get to know you. What the fuck are you talking about, brother? (laughs) You idiot. Uh, (laughs) So am I wrong? Yes. Yes. Dumbass. Black points don't matter. Uh, uh, But yes. God. I mean. I don't know how much else I have to say. Like, as soon as, as any normal person would have just been like, right, let me get my fucking drink and get out of here. Yeah, yeah you're not feeling it. It's, this is fine. We'll move on. Insane to go forward and be like, well, let me explain why I asked. Because <laughs> uh, you so clearly want to know. <laughs> fucking who cares, brother? Just get your goddamn drink and leave. <laughs> and honestly, she was what definitely fine with you leaving. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, oh, one <laughs> less like, right. one less drink I have to make. So yeah, leave. One less <laughs> shitty customer I have to deal with. Yeah. I'm glad you won't be a regular. Leave. <laughs> I'm going to Black Rifle Coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah, John, do you have anything more to add to that? No. What what else is there to add? Sean went <laughs> off on a quick. Oh bit. my god, bro. It's she's doing her oh. goddamn job. Imagine <laughs> you at your job fucking at a computer and someone's just like a random customer is just like just trying to get to know you, bro. I'm trying to do my job. <laughs> I'm trying to do my goddamn you know this job. Guy, <laughs> this guy needs to go to Dutch Bros because they will oh, talk to you forever. Dude. <laughs> Dutch oh, Bros. Is that the place that trash talk is? Tra- trash talks you? No. Dutch no, Bros. No. Is the they're exact, just the nicest uh, people. They're so fucking nice. Almost too oh. nice. They're so nice. Like, uh, <laughs> they're, they're known to be made fun of because it's like... Uh, some people are like, ah, I'm way too introverted to ever go to Dutch Bros. Because they'll take your order and be like, so what are you up to today? Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh I got this today. Yeah. How's your oh my day God. like? Oh, we're planning like our birthday for our manager. It's going to be so crazy. Well, I'm like, okay, cool, dude. Like, <laughs> sometimes I'm I'm actually all the time I'm fine with it. You know what I mean? I, I yeah, yeah. But the first couple of times I was like, wow, uh. This is, uh, <laughs> is this how y'all do everybody? This is crazy. Uh, There's so much talking to me. And you're just, you're sitting it. in your car. So it's like, you literally have no other option. They're just oh, fucking see. coming at you. <laughs> just <there>. you yeah. <laughs> hey, there's a, there's a coffee place here. Uh, they're so nice too. They're, at the end of your order, they always go say like, oh, thank you. I love you. And I said, hey, I love you. And Juliet was like, what the 
fuck did that bitch say? We're never fucking going back to each other. <laughs> she was We've like, what the fuck? Back. Who is this bitch? <laughs> nah, we still go there all the time. It's It was a bit. that Because I always say like, oh, I love you. Like, hope you have a good day too. God damn. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I couldn't do one of those restaurants because me going into a restaurant, I'm just rehearsing what I want. And I'm just rehearsing that in my head. So whenever they throw a curveball at me, I'm like, oh, fuck. fuck. <laughs> like, I'm staggering. Me at the barbecue place. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll get fucking two pounds of macaroni. I don't fucking know, brother. <laughs> me to John. Are, are we going to eat all this? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we did not. Uh, we got close. Uh, Surprise. We, we did. We did. This is how Sean spent like two hours shitting his life because of the macaroni and cheese. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to bomb my body into liking lactose. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Reddit deemed asshole, uh, wielder of aphorisms said, anyone who works in the service industry is exhausted by people like OOP. We are not here for your entertainment. Please place your order and move along. Yeah. That's, you know, I think that's fair. how it should be. They don't get paid enough to deal with that shit. If they yeah. open it up, then yeah, be, sure. be courteous and talk back, uh, a la yeah. Dutch bro style. Uh, if not, but even then, take a fucking to. hint. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, and Sir, Sir Cadogan said, LOL, how can he cancel an order he never placed? And that's the question <laughs> yeah. I had. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's yeah. true, yeah. <laughs> your, your title is off, you idiot. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, let's move on from neckbeards into potentially another one. We'll see. Oh, God. Uh, cross posted by Dude That's Whack. And the title for this one is Am I the Asshole for Telling My Wife It Offends Me When She Puts Her Shirt Back On? What What do you mean? Yeah, she's not telling <laughs> you to put your shirt back on. What are you? <laughs> you imagine? Uh, so, yeah. Put your shirt on. Yeah, definitely an <laughs> asshole, I think. They're being you, offended by that. Right? That's weird. To, I don't know. She's doing her own are, thing. Are, are you guys like, are you guys like a nudist and you get offended that they put their shirt back on? The and nudist call. I'm doing a crossover thus, episode. <laughs> thus negating their nudist lifestyle. I don't fucking know, but that is, dude, that's whack. That's a, that's a weird, yeah. that's a weird ask, I guess. All right. So my 27 male wife, 26 female gets home from work about two hours before I do. When she's home alone, she prefers to be topless, letting them out while she does chores or decompresses on the couch. As soon as I get home, though, she stops what she's doing and goes straight to the bedroom to put a shirt on. It didn't bother me at first. I didn't even think twice about it, but it seemed so deliberate and was happening every day. It was making me feel like a predator, like I'm going to lose control or something if she's all natural. When she did it yesterday, I told her it bothers me when she does this and it makes me feel like a creep and that she should feel comfortable being naked around me. She said she didn't think of me as a creep, just that she feels exposed with eyes on her. And that she only likes to do that when she's alone because she feels like she has eyes in her all day at the office and her time alone makes her feel like she can really let loose and just be as she is. I told her I want her to feel comfortable being herself around me and she should really, uh, she should feel free to let loose around me. We're married. I should be part of her home and she should feel safe around me. I've seen her naked body countless times. She should feel safe to be naked around me by now. She said she does feel safe around me but she just feels exposed when she's doing things around the house naked with me here. She's okay with being naked when we're showering together or having sex or changing or something. But when she's doing chores or lounging, it feels weird to her. Uh, and I got to say, that's probably where you end that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Cause once she set that boundary, say like, I feel weird, you know, when you're around and I'm doing this, it feels like a, you know, it's one of those things where it's like sacred to her yeah. like, that she's doing that on her own time. It's a boundary, as you said. It's like, yeah. uh, I just feel uncomfortable. I can't explain why. Yeah. I just do. It's like, all right, yeah. that's it. This seems that's like a weird, uh, as soon as you voice your concern and then they tell you why, it seems like that, the, you know, <laughs> that's the natural ending point of the story. Mm-hmm. Or should be. Yeah. Because then she knows and she's like, uh, and maybe if she feels comfortable eventually, she'll, you know, come around to just being free with that. But like that's her choice. That's that's her boundary. Yeah, I feel like this is more of a OP problem. OP. Yeah. Well, yeah. If if he stopped here, it wouldn't be. But we're gonna continue on, going. and he does oh, not stop. God. <laughs> not great. I asked her. I asked her what the difference between doing chores while she was alone versus with me in the house or being naked while she's changing. Do I make her feel objectified or something? And she said no, but that maybe it's not rational. It's just how she feels. 
She didn't think she should have to go outside of her comfort zone for me on this. Exactly right. Exactly yeah. right. <laughs> I just told her that I should be her comfort zone. Why does she have to cover up in front of me when it's just, that's how she would prefer to be anyway. Why make herself uncomfortable just for me when she's most comfortable topless? She snapped at me that she didn't think I was being a creep before, but me pressuring her into seeing her naked was creepy. We both yep. started raising our voice. I was telling her it's not like that. She just went into our bedroom and locked the door and she hasn't come out since except to grab food and she won't even talk to me. I didn't mean it in a creepy way. I just want her to feel safe to be herself around me since I'm her fucking husband and her being naked around me shouldn't be a big deal. I'm not just trying to ogle her. I just want her to feel comfortable to relax with me. So am I the asshole? Yeah. You weren't the asshole for like concerning, like you're voicing your, hey, like why, why is this different? Like when you're doing it, but you're an asshole for badgering and keep going when a boundary was already set. Also, John, there's Artemis. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. There's two kitties in one frame. I wasn't going to talk until uh, John gave his reaction. <laughs> Yeah. She's uh she's trying to get that merch deal now. <laughs> Hell yeah. I wish my cats uh, would fucking scenes, listen. People. God Just damn it. <laughs> uh, Ooh, playing. Yeah, they might start playing in the background. But anyway, uh, so uh I will not pay attention to anything you guys are saying now, so just keep going while uh, I'm watching. Uh, what's your take on this one, Sean? At first, I, like I'm with John. At first I was like, yeah, he has a concern. He doesn't want to feel a type of way. But, you know, as soon as he voices the concern and then she's like, yeah, you know, it's just something I want to feel, you know, I feel comfortable doing when I'm alone. Uh, it feels a little weird if someone else is here. Not that, like, I don't trust you, but literally anybody else being in here is opposite of what I've done my whole life. And I'm not comfortable doing that. So that should be the end of that conversation. Sounds like something you Agreed. need to work, work on, uh, you know, with yourself being like, well, why does that make me feel like a creep? Fuck it, just be naked yeah. when you're home too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. It's match the energy. <laughs> yeah, I, I, just, I just don't know. I feel like, you know, my mind would also be with your wife as soon as you like start pushing on it and we're like, okay, well, cool it, buddy. Are you, yeah. you sounding real? <laughs> you know, what's a good way to not make her feel safe around you is by- Is if you keep pushing. Trying to pressure. fucking continue to pressure yeah. her to do something that she already has stated she's not comfortable doing. So it's- Again, like a lot of these stories, what's your end game, brother? I don't think you're, I don't think it's going to work out. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to work out for you. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I agree hundred percent. I think, uh, yeah, I think it's uh, completely okay to voice his concern or not concern. It's just like bring it up as a conversation. Cause we always say yeah. communication is yeah. key. Um, if it's something he's like, okay, this is, you know, but why do you do this? You know, like, like I, I, it's just been bothering me for a little bit. And she gave him a group, like, just like, it makes me, you know, more comfortable to be clothed when other people are around. It doesn't matter who it is. And I get that. Uh, I don't think I'll ever feel comfortable peeing in front of someone, <laughs> like even to my partner. So, uh, yeah, I don't, like, I don't, me and Nancy still don't peer poop in front of each other. Yeah. That's just not something that's never, yeah, never <laughs> yeah. will happen. For, for, Pooping uh, is like my know, sacred time. I know there are couples who are okay with that. Yeah. And that's completely fine. That's your boundaries. My boundary is. I would prefer not to, you know what I mean? And I couldn't explain why that is. That's just a preference of mine. Um, and if Sienna was really pressuring me, like, I want to watch you pee. And I was like, no, nah, I'm good. Let me but see the stream. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd be like, well, all right. I think you're being a little creepy, right? Now. <laughs> Let's see your aim, Josh. <laughs> Hit the target. <laughs> it's not good, okay? <laughs> Speaking of aim, um, there's this dart place in Houston. I think we I, we almost went there that one night, John. So I, I guess it's like a chain. But in their urinals, they have like a little target on where to... I was like, oh, oh. that's so sick. I love that shit. That's a good... I that's want that for my own toilet. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I, I also agree, asshole, as did Reddit. Yeah. Um, Good. Yeah. And Schwenomorph said, when no one is home, I use the bathroom with the door open. When my boyfriend is home, I shut it. Oh, Nothing against him. I, do the same. I just don't want to be looked at while I'm pissing. And so, yeah, exact same. Uh, Houndstooth Reader said, relax, damn it. I said relax. <laughs> Reddit, I don't understand why my wife isn't relaxed. Help me. <laughs> She's my fucking yeah. wife. Why isn't she relaxed? <laughs> Fuck. I just berated her for it. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. I'm trying to explain to her I'm not a creep. I just want her to be naked all the time <laughs> in front of me. I'm not going to ogle, but I would like to see it. <laughs> oh, weird. yeah. Yeah. Learn boundaries, people, and respect your partners. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's the moral of that one. Mm -hmm. And this next one, cross posted by first time uh, cross poster, but it might be a might be a quick goat just from the name. Uh, Ooh. Their name is Sean Midscore Four Midscore King Twenty Seven. Whoa! And for me, Sean for King. Crazy that there's twenty seven of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who are the, are the rest of y'all also in the summer? That'd be sick. You got an army. <laughs> I'm slowly building an army. <laughs> you got 27 at least. If you own one I of those you. accounts, Venmo me. <laughs> show show that's how, your, that's show your your how loyal you show are your loyalty for your king. To your king. <laughs> <laughs> Acknowledge the, him. Taxing the, the subreddit peasants. <laughs> is that what he's doing? <laughs> uh, all right. But uh, Sean for King 27 cross posts. Would I be the asshole if I texted my husband's best friend to see her reaction? Is it like a prank? Sounds like a prank. Part of me is thinking it's like a compromising photo of your husband, like a funny one, <laughs> where his ass is oh. out or something like that. <laughs> oh. It's like, should I send it? It's funny. We'll laugh. But then also I'm exposing my husband's naked ass. Uh, True. So, point so matter, asshole. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going asshole too, just because they want to get a reaction yeah. of somebody. And usually, when someone wants to get a reaction, it's like you know, it's a it's a cry for help for some reason. Yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, I will say this one comes with a few updates. Oof. Oh, so, I was like say trigger warning. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I don't think I have any trigger warnings for this episode. I hope, uh, but we'll hop into it. Let's see if you guys are correct. So my husband has had this best friend since college. I never had issues with her until my wedding a month ago when my maid of honor overheard her snapping at another friend of theirs that, quote, she has him when she wants him, end quote, when the friend teased her that she lost him and that he was the one who got away. So I told my husband about it a few days ago, in brackets, I didn't want to ruin our honeymoon, but it was still in my head. He denied anything happened between them. He was very calm when he said it, almost too calm. Anyway, I have no proof and I trust him. Until I used his phone when mine died. <sighs> he was driving and I was making a playlist on his phone. Then I looked through his iMessages and he had no thread with her. I mean, I knew for a fact that they texted, but there was nothing. I didn't say anything, but last night I literally saw her name pop up amongst the texts. When he went to bed, I looked through and there were no texts between them. He is deleting them. Now my question is, if I ask, he will deny. I need to know and I need proof. So would I be the asshole if I initiated a conversation with her, acting like I'm my husband, and to see what's up? I need proof and peace of mind. So what do you guys think? Uh, and like I said, there are updates. So it will come along. This is, I think the suspicion is definitely valid. I, I know usually when like it's like hearsay. I tend to be like hesitant about like, oh, confront the other person like right away because maybe they don't know what the fuck's going on. But yeah, the husband is going to possibly deny it. But I'd say the first person to confront or at least have a conversation with is the husband in this situation. Yeah. What do you think, John? I agree. I don't know how you broach the topic. Be like, hey, I, I noticed that. Uh, I don't know how you bring that up. I noticed yeah, you don't have a thread like you with your best friend. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of strange. Well, and, and to be honest, I mean, he's if you know there is something going on, he's straight face lied to you. Uh, yeah. So who's to say he wouldn't do it again if you brought it up to him? Well, yeah. So I think to me, like to me too, like if if you know if you can feel that they're like straight up lying, then you'll have the probable cause to be like, okay, now I have a reason to really dig deeper. But I I, I like taking first steps first. I guess is where I'm going out with this. Yeah, for sure. I say do it because of the content, but <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say in this, like situations like this, I'm like caught between like, cause I'll give my phone to Nancy. I don't give a fuck. But like, yeah. Same. Also, is there like a, uh, you know, is uh you know, invasion of privacy a thing? Like, I mean, I personally don't care, but I don't know how everybody feels about that. I, Guys, I can only talk about me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Well, uh, yeah, yeah so, I'm in the same boat as you. Like she has access to it. I yeah. everything in my shit. Yeah, Sienna goes through my messages because I'm terrible at responding to other people. 
And so if we're on like a car ride or something, she'll go through and be like, you haven't responded to your mom in a day or something like that. And I'm like, oh shit. And then she'll just like, like write back or like <laughs> do, yeah. or do something. So she will go through them, but it's because I'm an idiot and don't, and I'm bad at responding to people. Uh, so I don't know. I, I don't see an issue with her going through them. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe just be like, let me fucking see your phone. <laughs> Maybe that's what you got to do. Be like, you know, my maid of honor really fucking got in my head. I just really need assurance. Let me see your fucking phone right now. <laughs> you got to pull a love or Joe Goldberg where you're like, you know, you got to get like the IP of your address of your phone, trace it for some fucking reason. Whoa. All your messages are going to your phone and just spy on your partner. That's what you got to do. People. Is it that easy? I've never watched you. That seems way too I easy. <laughs> to just I don't fucking so know. Much shit like that. I don't know. I mean, uh, some someone smart bound to figure that shit out. That's true. This Gone Girl is ass. <laughs> Never seen that. <laughs> oh, great, great movie. show. Yeah, or movie. I've, I guess not show. I just heard it was deeply depressing and sad. Disturbing. Disturbing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, depressing. I guess. Yeah, a little bit, but yeah, disturbing. You want to sure. see a documentary version of it? American Nightmare is really mm. good too. It's very similar to. Yeah, Gone it's based Girl. off a real story. I might be that one. Might be, it might be from there. Yeah. Yeah. Sienna was listening to a podcast about it, I think. So mm. anyway, update. He is cheating. Motherfucker. I went through his deleted messages, but it was empty. So he had been deleting the deleted messages as well. I don't know if there's further steps to find them. I don't know. So I sent her, uh, what are you doing? Because that's how he texts when he's bored. She said she was in bed. And I said, I brackets he was in bed too watching succession she asked if i was sleeping then it didn't take long before she started sexting in a way that made it obvious that they had done it multiple times Mm. i ended it quickly because honestly i felt nauseous i didn't want to send her i didn't want to sext her i sent myself all the evidence tomorrow i will be moving back to my parents place and starting the divorce i will not tell him why see why even get why not just break up and date your friend? Exactly. Why do all of this? As him? Yeah. Yeah. Like, what what not, the fuck? What's up, what's up, what's up with you, all the games? It was Secrecy before you got married. Shit. You could have just not got married. I mean, it's probably a, oh, I can have whoever I want kind of thing. Or, I don't know. I don't know. But it doesn't matter. Yeah. They can have each other. Yeah. Fuck them. Fuck them both. But just what is going through your head? If you're, yeah. if you're engaged and you're cheating on your fiance, that might be a sign just, to not get married, right? Like, what? You're, you're not legally. You're not ready. You're not legally bound to each other. You're making your. You're causing yourself a future headache. Yeah. Just fucking end it now. I just can't morally fathom getting up and being like, "Oh, till death do us apart," knowing that I'm fucking someone in the audience. You know? What I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like it's fucking crazy yep. to me. Yeah. Oh. Um. Update two. I left him, and I'm now writing this from the comfort of my mom's bed. They've been showering me with food and candy. I left without saying why, just that I wanted a divorce and that I don't love him anymore. I ended the marriage with a text while he was out because he's not worth more than that. Oh yeah. When he got home, I was gone. I blocked him because I never want to see or hear from him again. The rumors started spreading pretty fast though, because I told family and friends the truth. So now he is angry thinking that his affair partner did it on purpose. So he is bashing her on social media and she is fighting him back and fighting other friends too. She Damn. Te- she texted me saying that I'm a hoe who ruined her reputation and friendship. You did that I yourself. Mean, uh, I mean, oh, you did that <laughs> yourself. You fucking around with a man, yeah, dude. Take a yeah. long look in the mirror, mm, bud. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so she said that I'm a hoe, ruined her reputation and friendship, and that he never loved me anyway. And he married me because I'm a dumb hoe. I blocked her. I will deactivate all my accounts for a while. After the holidays, I'm getting an attorney. I don't want an annulment. I don't think it's possible either. Uh, I I want half, so no annulment. Hell yeah, yeah, take your half. Yeah, Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, after the shit he put you through, take more. 70%. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, But yeah, um, so not happy updates like John's episode on Monday. (laughs) But uh, I guess she's out of a false relationship now. There's so, a it's yeah, true. positive. Yeah, kind of a dude, positive. And she's getting her half. <laughs> dude. Yeah. yeah. And candy. Dude, and candy. Dude went from like having two girls to none. <laughs> yeah, 
that's insane for him to be like, fuck Fucking you, too. loser. <laughs> You, you'd oh, be. I feel idiot. like that probably happens a lot with these stories. Is the you go from oh, yeah. probably two people, two partners to none because everyone to none realize how much of a scumbag you are, idiot. <laughs> well, and and both the cheating and like the affair partners, uh, like the husband and the best friend, yeah, uh, refuse to look inward. Yeah. And just <laughs> decide to blame everyone around them, <laughs> but themselves. The wife that did nothing idiots. wrong is obviously the whore. Not yeah. me. <laughs> the one who ruined a, a marriage. Um, yeah, relax there, harlot, with all your fucking, fucking accusations. Harlot. Yeah. <laughs> what a sick name, actually. <laughs> yeah, what is... I'm going to add that to my kids' yeah. list, my list of kids' names. <laughs> Artie, we're changing your name. <laughs> harlot. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck those two. Uh, you're better off without them, OP. <laughs> they ain't fucking each other no more. They're beefing now. <laughs> All right. So this next one we got cross posted by I'm lower score we zero four one two zero zero. I think this one was posted a while ago, but mm. it was kind of on the fence of a am I the asshole? So I didn't know if you guys were gonna do it, and I think you guys probably did the same thing. So it ended up being on the subreddit for a while before we picked mm. this one up. But the title is I am falling for my sister's ex. Would I be unreasonable to date him? I'd say yeah. I'd say it's never good. Not worth yeah. it. If the other way around, if it's the brother, blah, 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 it would be wrong. We'd blast them. So I'm fucking blasting her ass too. <laughs> I mean, I think this is wrong no matter yeah. what. <laughs> I know, but I'm just doing it just because I, I see that shit from people. If it's the <laughs> other way, well, guess what, motherfuckers? I'm doing it now. You want an hinge? You got an hinge. God, I can't wait till I'm the favorite on oh, this Lord. podcast. <laughs> I think you are after these last couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I think you are. Uh, I don't know about that. It was a long climb to get even close. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's hop into the story. Uh, and I will say there are some notable comments and update after this one as well. Okay. So I am in a pretty complicated situation. My sister Amy was dating Paul for two and a half years from when she was 22 to 24. I wasn't too close to him, but we got along. Too long already. If it was like a month, mm -hmm. maybe you'd be like, all right, <laughs> kick the tires on Even that. Then. But two years? A couple of years. Yeah, two yeah. and a half. I don't yeah. think so, brother. And 22 to 24, that's usually like your first serious relationship. Yeah. Relationship. That age. Probably live together at some point. Maybe. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, he cheated on her with her best friend, and this hurt my sister a lot. So, so naturally, I'm inclined <laughs> to fall in love with them. What? <laughs> I was angry and hurt that he would do that to my sister. My sister became depressed and still has trust issues to this point, to the point that she's scared to date. You're answering your own question. So I want question. that for me? <laughs> You're answering your own. I want that she's, depression yeah. for me. I want that for me. Goddamn question. <laughs> Recently, I went on a cruise with my friend and her boyfriend. I was third wheeling. He saw me at the bar, he referring to Paul, uh, he saw me at the bar at the pool. He said hi, and I was very cold to him. It says I told him about himself, but I assume she meant like what he did to her sister. Mm. Uh, okay. And to my surprise, he accepted accountability. He told me the guilt he feels to this day and that he's matured over the years. Bullshit. Uh, that was my I'm going to try to riz you up though. <laughs> Uh, I decided to let bygones be got bygones, and he that and quick? I started hanging out. Yeah, <laughs> that quick. I don't uh, know. And he and I started hanging out as we were both third wheeling. We did excursions, shopping, etc. Didn't realize how strong our chemistry was. One night, we both had a drunken mishap and hooked up. Uh. After that, after the cat was out of the bag, we hooked up a couple more times. When I got back, he and I have been texting and we are considering taking things more seriously. I haven't talked to my sister about it, but I can tell he's changed and a better person. Plus, it's been a couple of years. Would I be in the wrong? Yeah, you're, you're already kind of in the wrong. Too. I mean, <laughs> uh, would We're taking it to the next level, I guess. You're already yeah. there. Uh, <laughs> I think bad all around. Uh, you know, we, we both predicted bad. You know, sometimes Reddit proves us wrong. You know, every circumstance is different. Uh, this time, not so different. Bad. 
Yeah. Not mm-hmm. great. A hundred percent. You see that this dude put so much like strain in your sister's life, causing her to all have these mental breakdowns and all that shit. You're going to fuck the guy and going to want to have a relationship with him. After you bad mouthed his ass in the beginning saying like, yeah, he cheated on her. I fuck it was cold to him. And yet you let the kitty out of your bag and you know, do all that shit. Like what the fuck is wrong with you, girl? Years, you're kind of a dumbass. Years of depression for your sister that you've witnessed. Yeah. And it takes yes. maybe one night for you to be like, he's changed. <laughs> no. <laughs> bygones be bygones. It's not like it took two Bruh. sentences. <laughs> no way. <laughs> for her to be like, all right, cool. Okay. So this is, chill. this is reminding me of, uh, so last night, you know, me and Nancy haven't seen a lot of movies growing up. So we were, uh, we were watching Pearl Harbor, 2001 mm. Michael Bay classic Pearl Harbor. Okay. Uh, and, you know, like I watched it as a kid and I, the way I remembered it is like a guy got lost at war and then his wife ends up with his best friend uh, and then he comes back. In my mind, uh, this all happens in like a span of a decade. I don't know. And from what gotcha. I remember. Okay. Was way longer than the war, but I understand. <laughs> in the movie, well, the the war plays such a little part in this film about the oh, war. I've never seen it. Okay, but, okay, it's a love triangle movie disguised as a Pearl Harbor movie. Uh, Got it. Uh, but I I thought you know this happens in a long time. The fucking best friend made moves on the girl after three months of his friend being dead. I'm like three months God, isn't damn. a long time. And then all their friends are like, yeah. Like telling the girl, like, yeah, it's three months. You have to live your life, Evelyn. And I was like, three <laughs> months is not long. What are you doing? And then he comes back like a month later. So he was only missing for I four lied, months. Bitch. And he's like, wait, <laughs> what do you mean you're fucking my best friend? And she's like, we thought you were dead, Danny. It's like four months. This all it took was four months. It was ridiculous. I will say last week, Sean, we did one where the husband uh, and the twin sister of his deceased uh, wife yeah started hooking up yeah and i was you know i didn't love it but i said you know if everyone's consenting it's fine this one is different uh okay. I, I don't know <laughs> four months I don't, just I, I don't know the i don't know the the details of this one so I it could know. be different i was enraged watching it is similar <laughs> now that you think about it but they at least saw a body go down this was oh, just i see i understand i don't know uh, maybe yeah. it's different with military like he went down in, in battle and you, you never know but Oh God, I don't know. Four months and everyone's telling you, you got to live your life. It's been four months. My bitch. If you don't. <laughs> Both of them. I All was right. like, you fucking scoundrel. All right. Sound off in the comments. Is Sean a hypocrite? I want to know. Yeah, probably. Ooh. Honestly, I got, a, I got a couple comments in there that think I already am before I already said this part. So I'm what sure we all do? are at some what, point. What can Who you knows? do? Yeah, yeah. Hey, we have a we have like a memory of a a, a goldfish, so we often forget what we say. Truly, that's true. <laughs> you know how much of a struggle it is those update Wednesdays are. I don't remember a goddamn <laughs> thing we said. <laughs> that's true. Uh, all right, some notable comments. So a user, uh, and this is just like on best of Reddit updates, they just say user one, user two, mm. so it doesn't actually say their username. Sure. Um, So user one says, this is a disaster waiting to happen. And OP responded, I don't think so. Okay. I get what he did was bad, but I feel like as a society, we don't give people enough grace to change. Yeah, you're a dumbass. Okay. To which user one responds. Okay, yeah, go off. While I do agree that, you know, sometimes (laughs) our society does not give enough grace to change. This ain't one of those instances. (laughs) You're you're trying to fucking fit some deep philosophical meaning into how can I fucking keep fucking... My sister's ex. Uh, no. Yeah. No, brother. It doesn't work like that. Uh, user one responds to them and says, you can give people the grace to change without sleeping with them. Exactly right. He broke, mm-hmm. his, he broke his ex-girlfriend's heart and gave her trauma by cheating on her with his with her best friend of all people, then comes back years later and sleeps with her sister of all people. Can you imagine mm-hmm. how the sister feels? My best friend and now my sister, this man my is sister? out to yeah. get me. What's next? My mother? <laughs> hey, don't give him ideas. Uh, if he truly changed and bettered himself as a person, he wouldn't be hooking up with his ex's sister. Cheaters are also chronic liars and players, and you feel right and you fell right into his hands. And let's not forget the massive betrayal to your sister. Mm. 
To yep. which OP responds with this infallible logic. Oh, no. Was he just never supposed to date again? Just not, <laughs> like just we, not you. Just not somebody so close to his ex that he just cheated on. You, what are you bitch. talking about? Uh, it wasn't oh. like we intended for this to happen. We just had such a strong connection. Would it just be better to pretend that we don't have a connection? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Uh, and then user two uh, for the last irrelevant comment said, my sister is my world. If she did this to me, I would cut her out of my life completely. Do you have no respect for her? The pain she went through. Mm -hmm. You want to throw all of that away for some guy that is a renowned cheater. Wow. Mm -hmm. OP responded. I wouldn't even consider this if she still had feelings for him, but she doesn't anymore. Nah, not a, nah, not a reason. <laughs> Jeez, not a man. reason, bro. You are, girl, you are digmatized. She man. is you fighting for yeah. her yeah. life, trying to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the comments we're not having it. <laughs> no, what a uh, dumbass. Yeah, yeah, because like, like, wasn't she the one that said her sister is still not ready to date yet? So that clearly shows she's still affected by. She's this. still going through yeah. it. She can have. She can not have feelings for him, but still be fucked up from what happened. You know what I mean? Still have the yeah. hurt from all the betrayal. That's. Three people essentially betraying her in this story. Exactly. The fucking best friend, the ex, and now the sister. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. This It seems personal. It seems like this man's trying to destroy her life. Destroy her. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Pretty fucked up. All right. So the update we've all been waiting for. OP says, I decided to give him a chance. Dot, <laughs> dot, dot. Well, he's still a disgusting cheater. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh no, you dumbass. That's what you get. You deserve it. Yeah. Honestly, you deserve it. A few weeks ago, I decided to tell my sister what was happening and what we were planning. She didn't take it well at all and has blocked me and said I'm dead to her. Good. That broke my heart, but I was optimistic as she can continue to heal from the breakup and find someone new. She would get over it. Uh -oh! Perhaps even learn to be happy for me. <laughs> Continue to heal from the breakup while her sister is actively dating the one that she broke up with is absolutely batshit crazy. What the uh, fuck are you talking about? Uh, when I was over at his place last night, I noticed a bonnet. I don't know what that is. A bonnet? Is that the hair? Like a, a bonnet. Like a hair thing? I think you uh, like go to sleep in it to protect your hair. Like a hair cover? Yeah. Okay. A bonnet. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> You're fine, brother. We mispronounce things all the time. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I, all I, the put time. Some, I put a little French twang on bonnet. that one. Bonnet. bonnet. Uh, it was not mine, and I don't wear bonnets usually. That raised my suspicion. I didn't say anything and waited for him to fall asleep. I used the face ID to unlock it when he was sleeping. I went through his phone, and it was bad. I woke him up and told him he's a disgusting person. I've never felt so alone. I haven't even told my sister yet, but I want her to know that I fell for his lies and that I'm sorry. And that is a little too late on that one. I have <laughs> zero sympathy for your dumbass. Yeah, zero. Holy shit. <laughs> You're an idiot. Not is only, the, you know, the consequences of my own actions. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You, you answered your fucking whole question like the first couple from sentences the jump. Of, from the jump you're like this is fucked yeah. up and then not only that you had everybody on that reddit post being like no don't do this you're an idiot next post <laughs> so i did it of course you fuck it yeah you don't deserve any sympathy i will say rarely we get karma on this podcast and that was a great karma yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. up and not for him i guess he's still a piece of shit. He's but a piece yeah. of shit. Everyone knew that already. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Inevitable Cup 5909 says, when I met the guy who cheated on my sister, I publicly humiliated him. I didn't start banging him. She deserves what she got for this. I feel so bad for her sister, but at least the trash took itself out. Yep. Mic drop. Mm. Fuck that OP. Mm -hmm. All right. We got the last one here, cross posted by Mary Gets 2011. Because oh, it's not an episode without them. And the title for this one is Am I the Asshole for Divorcing My Husband Because He Can't Accept That I Was With Another Guy Before Him? No. no. What a. <laughs> oh, no. She, she's with you now, brother. You, she ain't about to be with Joe ass. What are you talking about? <laughs> 
What are you talking about? <laughs> the hell? Oh, this is some super conservative guy who's like, you body counts are the worst thing in the world. You should be pure. <laughs> well, at the same the time, fucking like me. six different people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck you. Idiot. All right. So I, 27 female, am married to my husband, Spencer, 28 male, for two years. That's a red, that's a red flag already with that name. Damn. <laughs> Spencer's catching strays. <laughs> Uh, uh, we've been together for two years, uh, or sorry, we, we've been married for two years, but I've been together for six years total. We don't have kids. I've known Spencer since elementary school. We have had a loving relationship from the beginning, but now he is destroying it with his insecurity after discovering I was with another guy before him. So he knows I'm bisexual. I had dated most, uh, dated girls most in high school until graduation. I slept with my best friend's cousin, Thomas. He was 16 and I was 18 when we slept together. He was the only guy I was with. We dated a bit, but it didn't go anywhere. I dated my uh, my last ex-girlfriend from 18 to 20 in college. We broke up. Then I got with Spencer. We have been together since. Spencer knew I dated girls in high school and college, but we really never talked about our past relationships and flings. But Spencer slept with half the girls I know in high school and slept with many in college. (laughs) I fucking, I fucking Always. Know. fuck this guy, dude. Yeah. I was gonna say like, oh, I'm so sorry that he has those insecurities, but I not no. anymore. <laughs> not anymore, <laughs> you fucking dweeb. I don't even feel bad for the insecurities because it sounds like he's like, oh yeah, my wife's so hot. She's had sex with other women. That's so hot. With girls, that's oh, so yeah. cool. That's oh, 100%. That, yeah, that's a good catch. Yeah, and then yeah. as soon as he finds out, wait. One fucking 16 you got year dick old one time? <laughs> a man? <laughs> Not even a man, a boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking shut uh, your fucking mouth. Yeah. Told you Spencer's a red flag. <laughs> uh, the thing with me is I don't care for past relationships. It doesn't bother me. I'm not a jealous person. Spencer didn't show any signs at all of being jealous. When Spencer and I went uh, to go see our friends, Maven, my best friend, was there. And Maven was the uh, best friend whose cousin she slept with. Oh, cousin. Thomas, yes. Yeah, Yeah, Thomas. Okay. We were at Spencer's best friend's house. We were all drinking. It was fun. We watched a bit of a movie and topic of hookups came up. Everyone was talking about body counts and past relationships. Spencer did talk about how many girls he slept with to his best friend Ace. So insane. Then he boasted about how he was the only guy that I had slept with. (laughs) <laughs> Maven cut him off and told him all giggling you mean second Spencer was confused and asked me if it was true and with who I did say yes and with Thomas he just got quiet after that the whole time we were there he wasn't the interacting with anyone that much ego bro and, and it was on his phone I did try to talk to him but he either did not hear me or say one word answers I would say shit. learning in that at like a, a party would be kind of like, oh, it feels like I should know that about you, but I wouldn't make a big deal about but it. Also, <laughs> I mean, you, you can't fucking gloat like that. And yeah, then yeah, he gloated about his con. Yeah, and the, yeah, yeah. yeah, you can't be like, oh, I slept with so many fuck. You slept with one? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening? What? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like know. he doesn't count the women, which is super misogynistic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, when we got home, he snapped at me and told me I was a whore for letting a guy touch me. How he thought he was the only one. I just started crying. I told him that we never talked about our past relationship that much. It was even before we got together. He was dating another girl when I got with Thomas. That was years ago. Why is he mad about it now? Yeah. He proceeded to call me so many names and how I was gross. Bitch. <laughs> and then asking if he was better. I just didn't answer him and went to our room and locked it. He slept on the couch and didn't tell me the next day he was, or, and t- did tell me the next day he was sorry and drunk and I forgave him. Nope. What it, the insecurity is just shining through when he's just like mid argument. Well, well, it was at least better. What better than a 16 year old in a one time bling? Probably. Yeah, like, probably. Like, what are you talking about? She's been married to you. Uh, probably. Yeah. Jesus Christ, dude. Uh, I thought we got over it, but we do have sex or whenever we do have sex or anything romantic, 
Uh, he will was always ask good? if Thomas was better <laughs> for everything. It was getting tiring. I told him to stop asking me this and reassured him, which you shouldn't do because he's fucking being a baby. A grown ass dude yeah. talking about fucking all these different women. If you don't, mm, boy, he's a boy. He's yeah. a boy. <laughs> yeah. The 16 year old might be more mature than this fucking it, idiot. It's insane to, to ask, truly. Was a 16 year old yeah. killing it better than me? <laughs> Crazy. Probably not. Probably not, uh, brother. And after the first time you've been answered, weird to keep asking. <laughs> so I reassured him that he was the best thing to happen to me. He did stop and things went back to normal. That is until I got a text and a screenshot from Thomas, who I haven't spoken to in years. I'm going to fucking murder you, bro. You joke. <laughs> you joke. The last time we broke, uh, the, uh, we, we talked the last time we broke up. I was confused and saw the screenshots of my husband threatening Thomas saying he was going to kill him. <gasps> oh. <laughs> that he wished he was dead and more awful shit. Now Thomas is married and has kids. So I'm not sure where Spencer thought he was going to, what he thought he was going to get out of Thomas. I did apologize to Thomas and told him I had no idea this was happening. Thomas told me to keep my husband under a leash and proceeded to block me. I was just furious. So I confronted Spencer. We got into a huge argument. I told him I was divorcing him and he started crying and begging me not to go. No, but I left and stayed with one of my girlfriend's places. I'm done with his bullshit. His friends are harassing me and calling me a whore and a liar. His family is asking me to come back, but I just can't. He has put so much stress over something that has nothing to do with him. Years before we got together. So am I the asshole if I proceed with the divorce? No. No. This man seems dangerous. Uh, Unhinged. I was definitely Unhinged. joking when I said, I'm going to murder you. Uh, and then he legit said, I'm going to murder you. He's yeah, legit. Did it. Yeah. legit. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I would say, yeah, once you take the cat out of the bag, uh, I mean, you could always put a cat back in a bag. I don't know what the saying is. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, put a cat in a bag. <laughs> once you, once you uh, uh, I don't know. That can't be undone uh, is, is pretty much what no. I'm saying. Uh, once you've threatened death upon somebody that has nothing to do with your relationship. Uh, oh, is in his own relationship for years. Has kids. Uh, has kids. Yeah, I don't know. I would be like. Probably doesn't think about your, your wife no. at, at all. <laughs> and before that night, your wife hadn't thought of him uh, at all. Uh, no. Until you're the you one that's bringing it he up. He was better. <laughs> you're the one that's being weird about it. It's like you want to fuck Thomas, bro. Just <laughs> see what it was like. <laughs> Thomas, I need oh. to see you fuck. I just got to know my stroke game is better. <laughs> I got to know if I'm better than you. <laughs> so Let's compare shafts. Who's bigger? <laughs> <laughs> Insane. I just, I've never understood the mentality of, oh, what's your body count? Like, Me. it doesn't matter. Like, what does it matter? What does it matter? They're with you. I mean, if it's an insane number, that's, I mean, like, uh, I'd be worried more about, you know, infections, <laughs> yeah, something like Possibly. that, but like, I truly don't understand like that mentality. It's like, they've, they're with you. They chose you. Why do you need so much reassurance that you're quote unquote better than everyone, uh, in every different way? Cause I mean, they picked you. What else do you want? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and it's 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 the it's, it's, it's a control thing to me, right? Yeah. Because he seems like all this all this time the conversations to talk about like his manly conquest. All these women I banged, all these women I fuck. They're like badges to me. They're an accomplishment. They're like a like you know pat on the back for me. But mm. the moment I find out my wife had one other person outside of me, that's like that's game their breaking over. point. It's game over, right? And he goes as unhinged, fucking threatening someone else who. Probably hasn't thought about your wife in decades and has their own life in front of them. I think this is like a true crime thing who just waiting yeah, to, wait to happen just because something snapped inside of him. He's he sounds really possessive, right? Like and and all these conquest stories, those are like his trophies. And those were those are the type of people that makes me nervous that they're gonna snap and do some really, really heinous. Yeah. A hundred percent. He needs help. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, he needs to be alone. <laughs> no, he needs therapy. <laughs> yes. And therapy. Big time. Uh, Extensive therapy. amount. <laughs> oh, yeah. Reddit deemed asshole, of course. And Wait, they deemed her asshole? Or sorry, not the asshole. Sorry. Oh, okay. I was yeah, like, yeah, what? Yeah. No, no. My bad. My bad. Um, 
I'm thinking because there is an asshole in the story. It's not OP. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's my bad. The red flag guy. Yeah. 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 Uh, battle level said the Spencer guy must be awful at sex if he's worried that a 16 year old was better than he currently Bam. is. <laughs> yeah. That's right, Sean. You got it, buddy. Yeah. Oh, insane. Uh, just grow up. And then Panaclato said the sheer audacity of this husband to be mad that he's number two while owning a community dick. Boo, Spencer, you whore. <laughs> Harlot. I never heard the term community dick. That's funny. <laughs> All right, that is it for this episode, Wikimaniacs. What did you think? Were these people assholes? Let us know down in the comments on YouTube, Discord, or on our subreddits. If you want to hear more, please consider joining our Patreon at patreon.com slash cultivate podcast network. Or you can hit join on our YouTube membership and get all the same content there. We have bonus episodes every Friday and Monday, as well as bonus uh, monthly episodes, which we're doing a live stream this month, I believe. We haven't concrete put in a time or date, but we are planning on doing that sometime later this God, month. That's news to me, baby. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wait, I s- and don't forget you. Could s- not going to lie. I disassociated for like a quick second. What, what are we doing? <laughs> What's new? <laughs> No, we're you're good. A live cool. show at the end of the month. Just show up when we tell you. <laughs> oh, to. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we're not doing the monthly bonus. We're doing a live show instead of the bonus. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sean, we yeah. talked about it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was gone, probably. You were there. You were uh, there. No, nope, you were there. Oh, we all oh, talked shit. about it. <laughs> Maybe I'm disassociating. <laughs> My man's oh. ain't working anymore. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, Am I the asshole stories or any story to our subreddit r slash reddit on wiki? Where our wonderful moderator mid score mm. keeps the that goats. under control. Uh, so thank you, Sean and John, for coming on and giving your takes. Thank you, Wikimaniacs, for another amazing episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe wherever you listen to your podcasts. We'll see you on Monday. Bye. Later. Like us, subscribe us, comment us, love us. Get therapy. I'm